this video we're going to set up the i3wm4 memjaro xfce so if you not use xfce you maybe watch another video now let's start that i'm going to open up the web browser at the address bar i type in github.com slash farukpuket slash desktop dash i3 and then i hit enter note that if you watch this video the link is will be at the description down below one do now i'm going to click on the green button right here and then i click on the url and copy now i open up the terminal and then i type in git clone then i pass the url and hit enter it's going to clone the script file for me now let me zoom in so you guys can see so it's a little bit better now when you type in ls you're going to see that i have one of the folder right here called desktop i3 let's cd in that type in ls you're going to see a bunch of the folder right here what we interested in if you use laptop this is where you're going to cd into that and if you use desktop you're going to cd in this folder so i assume that you now use desktop so let's type in cd and then 4 and desktop hit enter type in ls you're going to see the file in here what we're going to do we're going to run setup.sh file well you can just feel free to open any of file here it's just only the simple script that i wrote in now you type in dot slash and then setup.sh and then you hit enter it's going to do thing for me what is it doing now is clone the picture or the photo as a wallpaper we're gonna use this photo for the wallpapers it's gonna take time because it's quite big maybe 40 megabyte file all right now just type in the password we need to install some of the program that we have to use All right, when this window is pop up, you can just close this. And to close it down, you can just simply click on this button here or you type in the letter Q and Y. So it will go on. And then right now you have to type in your password and hit enter again. So now things is, will be done. All right, next thing that you have to do is we going to log out. So click on this button here and then select lock out now before you type in the password I want you to take a look at the bottom right here you click on this and then you select i3 now you type in your password and lock in it should be fine now so this is your i3 wm or i3 window manager to open up the terminal all you have to do is you press mod key hit enter that going to show up the terminal to close the terminal you press mod key shift q to change the wallpaper you press mod key the letter d and then you type in nitrogen hit enter now you will not see anything in here yet i want you to press mod key and then you click on this and then you drag now click on the preference click on add the wallpaper is will be live in pictures wallpapers now click on the select click on ok now you can see that the wallpaper is already loaded if i want this wallpaper just click on this and make sure that i select zoom view click on apply now you can see that the wallpaper is right here go up the other thing is you may not see con keys open up right here that because at the first time by default it just disables it because if my computer is low spec it's going to be very lag i don't like it i don't know maybe it's not happened to you because your computer is faster than mine so if you want to enable this 
you press mod key enter so to edit the config file you feel free to edit it the part of the config file is living in the config i3 all right now i'm going to use vi to do this let me zoom in and find the line that say conky it's just right here so actually i'm using conky mirror let's remove the hash sign out of that and then you save the file by press colon w q save and quit and then hit enter now what you're going to do is you may need to log out you press mod key 0 and then E the letter E now type in your password again and hit enter this time you will see that conky is show up but the wallpaper is changed again that because I want my wallpaper is random change in every time that I boot up so to change the wallpaper mod key D and type in nitrogen and then you select the wallpaper that you want it to all right the whole process is will take you about 10 minutes so is how I'm do it thank you for watching I see you on the next video